feel like when that San Antonio series started, because like we ended the season so well, I, I don't ever feel like, you know, I know that for me, I went to the NBA Finals my second year in the NBA. Elijah Juan was in his second year and Ralph Sampson was in his third. So we were a young team, we beat the Lakers. And so I think that when you get a vibe going, our team was so solidified by the, by the time, we, you know, we beat, we beat Phoenix the last game of the season, by the way, in Phoenix. So mm -hmm. we won 96-90 mm -hmm. in Phoenix. So we went into the playoffs uh, winning, what was it, 10 out of 11. So like, you know, we were, I think we were rolling. I don't even think the inexperience in the playoffs played even a, a little bit of a factor because we were so confident because we were so good. <laughs> we had, we had every we had everything you needed to win a championship. We had perimeter jump shooting, we had guard play, we had post play, we could rebound, we could defend, we get stops and bunches. And the thing I always remember about Reeve is if we don't score, what? They don't, don't score. score. <laughs> and and we could actually get stops and do that. So like there are some teams, you know, you can say that, you know, you can say it, but you can't do it. We could actually get it done. You know, and we almost lost game one, too, by the way. San Antonio beat us in game two. Like, we only won. It was 66-65 in game one. We could have easily lost that game and, and lost, lost that series. Game two, finals, Atlanta. Yep. We all were terrible. We were all terrible. Moan, that was the greatest performance I've ever seen an individual put on in a game. Yes. 36. Jim, yes. That's, I, I, you always have the stats, Jim. Like 36 or 39 points carried us. Yes. We won 101.95 101 in the game. Her and Angel. Oh, Simone had 36 on 11 of 14. She was yes. 13 of 16 from the free throw line. Yes. Eight total rebounds, Moan. You were in there and you had in there. this as well. I'm always in there. I, I remember like. I remember the first half, like we couldn't, none of us could make a shot. The only one that was doing anything was Moan. Yes. And it was like crazy though, cause like she was doing whatever she wanted. And I remember she came to the huddle and she was so exhausted. Cause this, I mean, you got, this is five months of work. She was nearly in, almost in tears, exhausted, yep. bent over. And I remember patting her on the back and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Mo, what do you need? Like, you good? And then, I could just, and then you kind of had a sense. I looked in her eyes, and it was just like she was so passionate, wanted it so yeah. bad. And I was like, "Man, we gotta step our, you know what, up. We gotta yeah. can we swear on this thing." I was like, "We gotta get our together, like Taj, Maya, Becky, Monty. Let's go. Come on, we gotta add to this because otherwise, she's we're about, we're about to lose this game, and she's putting on the greatest performance I've ever seen." So that was like, that was the Jess Adair thirteen point game, by the way. Yes. She had thirteen in that game. One off the bench that helped. But mm -hmm. I, I remember Moan, would, Cheryl would say when Moan would get the dreads flapping. flapping. <laughs> the dreads going. And when and so when she got that killer crossover, remember the killer crossover in front of our bench? She, she crossed yes. her, Angel McCautry over. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, if you look at the bench on video, that's the best part. Like, yeah. they're like. Oh, that, yeah, that right. is. They was in the game. Like, it wasn't yeah. no sitting there like, eh. Like, they, yeah. like, they were in Moan. it. You were hurting at that point. Like you were, yeah. you weren't a hundred percent right. At, like, yeah. what was going on for you? Because you had something going on. I remember during the timeout. That it probably was a knee. Yeah, like, you had. You had oh, I think Jim. I, um, Jim, she had all of us on her back. She was exhausted. It was hard to carry us. <laughs> it was hard to carry us. She was that. Yeah, she was almost in tears because she was carrying us. We I were. think me and Sancho little bump knees, and remember Courtney Paris fell on me. That's right. Oh, yeah. In that game. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, I, I was kind of done for at that point, but we got to shout out Steph because remember the practices leading up to the game? Oh, Steph yeah. was lighting yeah. us up at practice. Coach was like a bucket, and he literally did the yeah. same thing Angel did That's in right. that game. Yeah. He did that at practice, so it was almost yeah. like. Yeah. Angel, Angel had 38 that game. Yeah. yeah. Angel. Angel had 38. You know, Steph Weeze was a great Angel, and you know, um, JD Jones was a great. Lindsay Harding for me. Yes. So Moan, yeah. like, in those practices, because, you know, when you sweep, we swept Phoenix. You have a week of practice. Yep. So she gave us two days off, and then we had, like, five or six of the hardest practices. Ever. And then by the time we got to the games, it was like, that's why we were dancing, because we were so happy, because we didn't have practice that day. <laughs> and we probably didn't have practice the next day, because the practices were so intense and so hard. But I remember, I'm like, if I can guard 
if I can guard him, I know I can guard Lindsay Harding in the, in yeah. the finals, you know, and that was a big matchup too. She was having a great year. So, and you know, same thing, be able to guard Sancho Taj and Erica DeSouza. Um, who, who was the scout guy? He was a perfect Erica DeSouza that year too. Uh, uh, it was, you know, it was big, it was big Navy. Was yeah, big, big Navy guy. So those big guys Navy. got us. And then um, we had somebody else as a really good Izzy Castro for, for my to guard. So it was like, those practices, like we were so prepared to guard Atlanta. It was crazy. Oh, that was not happening. <laughs> that was not happening, but I think it's, it's, it's not a regular season game. You don't sit out of the finals, whether it's any finals, W, NBA, no one sits out in the finals. Um, and definitely for me, it didn't affect my speed. <laughs> I wasn't fast to begin with, so. And it doesn't affect your mind and the, the ability to post up on the block. And thankfully, Courtney, Paris, and DeSosa were not the sprint, 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 sprint. And Rebecca Brunson is super fast. So um, even when I was 100%, I was always the trail because that's where I was at. I was the trail to initiate the offense, to swing the ball, to shoot that mid-range jumper. So um, there was never a question. I think it was just worry because, again, of my age and that rollover. I think it was Moan and McCartry, both of them, not Moan, Monica Wright, both of them flipped over and flopped and landed on my knee while I was turned backwards. So it wrenched my knee um, a little out of place. And, uh, you know, we have a great trainer, Chuck Bard. I was like, we gonna take care of you. So I was in there with him. Oh, Chuck Bard took care of me. He was great. And, and without him and, you know, just praying that I, everything was gonna be fine, I wouldn't have been able to go again. But no medicine, no shots, just those magic Chuck Bard fingers. Um, and a lot of prayers, and it, it was good. Yeah, it's just that, like, you never know when you come back from an injury, but I've always been a player that I just lay it out on the line. Like, I'm gonna give everything I got and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. But when you look around, like when we started this conversation, you look around and you see the talent that you have, you see the coaching staff, you see, you feel the energy, you go in every day to work and never felt like work. We just, just got at, we was like, actually like just hooping with friends. We're showing up today, like we're going to the wreck and we're going to get a good game in. You know what I mean? Practice were harder than the games and there's no disrespect to any of our opponents, but that's just where, where we were at, like where we wanted to be. And we, every day we just kept working at it. And so it was hard, it wasn't hard for me to be able to go, come in and uh, just give my effort and help in whatever way I can. It just so happened that it unfolded that way where, oh, I was able to help lead my team to a championship and have that great game in game two or three or whatever it was. It just happened like that. Like that's just the universal gods that be that saw it fit for it to fall like that. But I enjoyed the journey. I enjoyed the the battles. I enjoyed, you know, the the just trying to figure things out as we went along, as we weren't as experienced as other teams, but we had it. We just didn't have it all the way around like other teams felt like they did. But, you know, just that joy of seeing so much talent come together and go on a run that we did. Like we going back to like, I never did chime in on the uh, conversation before, but the coaches might have reported that in the news that, oh, we were inexperienced, but the All-Star game that year for me was a lot different from years before, where it was like, oh, mom, I got there based on individual work that I had did, not team stuff. The chatter in the locker room, in the All-Star game locker room that year was different. They was like, hey, oh, whoa, <laughs> the Link's doing something here. And, but it was still some some doubt. Like, you know, in the back of their mind, it was like, it's only a matter of time before they lose a game and they go on a 10-game losing streak or something like that. But when that never happened, people were like, all right, this, this for real. Like, this is for real. This is this is no, no, no longer a joke or whatever. So just seeing that the change in people's perception of us, the change in the energy, the change in the focus, that just kept guiding me along the way. And, like Waylon said, like come the end of the season, everybody's hit, everybody's beat. It's 
who who has it? Like heart separates a lot of people. Yes. Like the champions, the the good from great. Heart does that. And I had it to give. Tosh had it to give. Waylon had it to give. Maya had like we all gave and at different moments we had our time and it just worked out well for us, you know, in that season.